obviously the forecast for the last day was was uh, suspect in the fact there wasn't much breeze forecasted. But you're always trying to make yourself ready that you're going to go out for a race, sort of expecting, and whether it's going to be one race or two races, there's only one discard. Um, so obviously with only 0.4 of a point ahead of Nicholas and seven points in front of uh, Lars, it was like it's not like you could take it down to a match race. It was all too close, particularly in a venue like this. So I was trying to keep myself uh, sort of ready and fired up for it. And, uh, and then of course when they sent us out on the water, you know, you're sailing out and it was pretty light. And I'm thinking, wow, if they're sending us out, then they think we're going to race in this. At that point, I was like, okay, right, this is, could be an interesting one, you know, this could be, uh, could be all on. And um, so then obviously, yeah, sitting around for two hours or whatever out on the water, just looking at it going, wow, there's a lot of holes or there's a little bit of breeze coming in. Trying to keep yourself motivated to go racing, but equally going, wow, this is going to be pretty sketchy if we do that. So uh, I'm amazingly happy now. Really, I'm super happy to have, to have, uh, to have won and um, it's been a great event. Uh, and, and to finally kind of add a second, a third and a fourth at the Worlds and I'm glad to have sort of ticked it off and not got a fifth but got a first and carried on the series. So uh, yeah, it's been, it's been an amazing week and uh, I'm absolutely thrilled, absolutely thrilled. Uh, not really until yesterday, if I'm honest, because um, like each day, like the first day, I felt really rusty, uh, but was sort of in it, you know, it, marginally. And then there, the next day was kind of my perfect conditions, I guess. And um, the next, the two middle days were really nice, and I felt really quick and pretty strong. And and then you're like, oh, this is, you know, let's see how this goes. And yesterday was really about hanging in there. It was it was super tricky yesterday. Um, so yeah, it was just kind of hanging in there to, to be in a be in a position to kind of fight it out today really yeah it's it's pretty big yeah i mean i'm 41 now and i've done a fair few dinghy events over the years and um although plenty of nationals under the belt never had a never had a world so it, yeah it's it's a pretty special feeling to um to finally get one tucked away and particularly in the OK, like it's been a bit of a bit of a thing in mine you know the single handers and uh yeah it's great come and, and see the guys that i've been racing around for the last sort of five or six years um, it is really nice and, and come back and win it here was yeah, amazing. amazing. So I mean it, it was um, coming here was really all about putting a line in the sand for, for Lyme Regis and that was where I was going to put my focus in and you know like I said you know say every year do some training and do some time on the you know time in the boat and um, so to go there as a world champion is actually is a really nice feeling you know I think it's going to be a great event I've spoken to loads of people here that are really excited about it, coming to Lyme Regis it's a great venue and uh, I think it's going to be an awesome world championships and it'll be a, it'll be a, a real kind of thrill to go and try and defend it there so excited for that too a couple of times um, so I kind of grew up a little bit west of there so I sort of know the area a little bit but um, I've had some pretty big days in Lyme Regis um, windy you know big waves pretty cool sailing so uh, I'll definitely try and get some more days in before the world and uh, looking forward to getting the okay out of it.